solve the differential equation x plus y dy plus y minus x dx is equal to 0 given that y is equal to 1 when x is equal to 1. So this is my first step. I have moved this to the other side. Well, the next step is also pretty easy. Dividing both sides by uh, x plus y and dx. And then opening this bracket, it's uh, minus x plus y, which is same as y minus x. Okay, now this, after you reach this step, you cannot separate the variables. But whatever you do, you cannot separate the variable. And from this step, you have to do a substitution. Or looking at it in a different way, this is called a differential, a homogeneous differential equation because the numerator is a function uh, of degree 1 and the denominator is also a function of degree 1. So there, whenever you have a homogeneous equation of the same degree in the numerator and denominator, you can do the substitution. V is equal to uh, y over x, which implies y is equal to vx. So, okay, now when you're differentiating both sides, uh, d by dx of y, I'm differentiating this. So d by dx of y is equal to d by dx of v. Here on the right hand side, I've applied the chain rule. So d by dx of v times v times x plus d by dx of x times v. Okay. So what will happen? This is dy by dx. This is x dv by dx. This d by dx of x is nothing but 1. So this is 1 times v, which is nothing but v. Okay, so yeah, uh, this can be rewritten as, uh, so this is this is what we uh, we had, dy by, in place of dy by dx, I can put x dv by dx plus v, and in place of y, I can put vx, and that's what I've done. Okay, so this is x dv by dx plus v is equal to vx minus x over x plus vx so in place of y i have put vx also in place of y i have put vx okay so what will happen you can factor out an x and x and x gets cancelled so you have got x and v form okay so you got x dv by dx plus v is equal to v minus 1 over v plus 1 okay so what happens next isolating the v's together so this is v minus 1 over v plus 1 minus v the left hand side uh, almost remains the same so now simplify the right hand, right hand side you have got v minus 1 and you have to cross multiply or this is v over 1 okay so what will happen you're multiplying this by uh, v plus 1. So if you multiply this by v plus 1, you have to also multiply the numerator with by v plus 1. So this is v minus 1, and you're expanding with minus v. So minus v squared minus v. Okay, so this becomes, uh, so plus v and minus v gets cancelled. You've got minus v squared, so this is nothing but minus v squared minus 1 over v plus 1. And I factor out a minus out. So this is x dv by dx is equal to minus uh, times v squared plus v squared plus 1 over v plus 1. Now separating the variables. This went up. This goes down. And this step is, I think you can understand this step. So this, uh, this v plus 1 went up. And this came down. Okay, so let me cancel this. Okay, and uh, x uh, came down. This is 1 over x. So this is separating the variables x with dx and v with dv. Okay, so this the next step is uh, the same thing. So now you're integrating both sides. So integration of v plus 1 over v squared plus 1 dv is equal to minus integration of 1 over x. Okay, the next step is not that difficult. This is the same as v over v squared plus 1 plus 1 over v squared plus 1. Okay, now to make this, okay, so the next step is pretty much the same. I would now separate, I have 
distributed the integration dv so this is integration of v over v squared plus 1 plus integration of 1 over v squared dv okay now this if you look at the denominator and numerator this uh, the integration the differentiation of v squared is v now there is a formula i hope you know integration of f dash x over f of x is equal to natural log of f of x now if i look at the denominator the differentiation of v squared plus 1 is 2v i want it 2 here so i'll put it 2 and i multiply it by a half so basically this and this gets cancelled the only thing uh, what happens is if this is f of x this is f of x i can say you can see this as f dash x so i can use this formula of integration of f dash x over f of x is natural log of f of x plus c of course okay now the integration of this i have done on the next page uh you you can watch a video that I have made of this, the integration of 1 over x squared plus a squared. So I, I hope you can see the steps here. I have divided both the denominator by a squared. So to make this 1, the reason is I know 1 plus tan squared is 6 squared. So this is called a trig substitution. Is 6 squared. This is the integration by trig substitution. So I have substituted x squared over a squared as tan squared theta. So x is a tan theta, and theta becomes tan inverse of x over a. So differentiating, uh, differentiating with respect to theta, dx by d theta is a six squared theta. So dx is a six squared theta. So in place of dx, I can put a six squared theta d theta. Okay, so this whole thing changes to 1 over 10 squared plus 1 over, sorry, not times, a 6 squared theta d theta. And 1 plus 10 squared is 6 squared, so this 6 squared and this 6 squared gets cancelled. So this ultimately is integration of d theta, which is integration of a theta, and theta is 10 inverse of x over a. So in our case, our a is 1 okay so that a doesn't matter so this is your a is one okay, so the integration of that is tan inverse of v okay so this is half natural log of v squared plus one plus tan inverse of v is equal to minus natural log of x plus c okay integration of one over x is natural log of x okay so this is natural log of v squared plus one multiplying the whole thing by 2 to get rid of this half so 2 tan inverse of v is equal to minus 2 natural log of x plus 2c okay and 2c i have changed 2c to a new constant is an arbitrary constant which is k so this is natural log of v squared plus 1 plus this i have moved to the other side okay so this in fact becomes minus natural log of x squared using the log rule and again applying the log rule you have to multiply these two <coughs> plus two natural log of v plus k is equal to k sorry and now i have substituted the value of v which is y over x so y squared over x squared plus one times x squared so this v is y over x okay simplifying inside the modulus this is x squared plus y squared plus x squared over x squared now this x squared gets cancelled so let me remove the veil so this is a natural log of x squared plus y squared plus 2 natural log of 2 tan inverse of y over x is equal to k now we've got this condition when x is 1 y is 1 if you put 1 into that this becomes 1 and this is also 1 so 1 plus 1 is 2 and tan inverse of 1. Tan inverse of 1 is 45. Tan 45 is 1. Is 45 which is pi by 4. Because tan 45 or tan pi by 4 is 1. So tan inverse of 1 would be pi by 4. So 2 times pi by 4 which will become pi by half. 
So k is net, nothing but natural log of 2 plus pi by 2. And so this is the final solution, natural log of x squared plus y squared plus 2 tan inverse of y over x is natural log of 2 plus pi by 2 is a required solution and k, your x should not be 0. Okay, x, because this will become undefined.